Hey, welcome to Think Creative TV. My name is Matt Pullen and I am your host for all things iPad in the classroom. Please, if you haven't already subscribed, tap on the subscribe button here and you can get up to date information on all of my new videos. Let's get stuck into one now. So in this video, we're going to take a quick look at how we can use numbers as a great tool if we are sketchnoting but specifically if we're sketchnoting about a variety of topics. Now, this could be if you're reading a book and want to sketchnote about chapters, if you're doing some research and want to sketchnote about different elements, but it will be part of the same thing, or if you're sketchnoting about conference events that you might be attending and you want to keep all of your sketchnotes in one simple place. Now, the example I'm going to look at today is sketchnoting about a book. I find it a really, really good way to reflect on the reading that I'm doing and also obviously due to dual coding and, and lots of other theories around memory recall, it supports me in understanding some of the key takeaways from the book. So I'm gonna go into numbers and I've created um, a file. I've started doing this sketch note already. I'll go through the process of how to create this. It's really, really simple and straightforward and it just uses a lot of the functions of numbers but in a slightly different way to if you were creating a spreadsheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and click in this. This um, is about a book uh, by Daniel Pink called Drive. Great book if you're uh, thinking about picking up a book and doing a bit of research reading yourself, it's a great one. Um, but let's just have a look at how I've set this up. So along the top, these are the tabs. You'll be used to these if you've ever done anything in numbers before or any spreadsheet app for that matter. And all I've done here is simply tapped on the plus to create new chapter pages. You can then tap on the chapter uh, highlight itself and change the text. So normally this just says sheet one uh, and sheet two, etc., etc. I've just changed it to chapter one and kept them in order. So I can now just jump between each one of those pages. So let's take a look at sort of at more detail. This is the sketch note from the introduction from the book. And the great thing about numbers is you kind of end up with this really, really nice movable uh, page that you can move around. And yes, you can do this in Keynote as well, but Keynote is a more set dimension of the page. You can see here that you know I can zoom in really, really close if I want to add in a bit of detail, um, or I can zoom out and look at the whole picture. If you've ever looked at any of the RSA animations, and if you haven't, you know I strongly urge you to have a look at those because they really, really sort of demonstrate this from a very professional point of view. It's kind of the same kind of approach because you can move around your, your platform, you can move around your canvas, zoom in, zoom out, have a look at things in more detail. And all this is, this is just, just my notes from the introduction to the book uh, using images. Now, something else that I thought was a really, really useful kind of idea when using numbers for this is I've actually started to create an image gallery at the back. So this is the last tab. Um, and in here, if there's something that I know I'm going to use more than once in my drawings, I can just quickly create this kind of image library here where I can just copy. So let's say that I want to take uh, the carrot and the stick it comes up quite a lot uh, throughout the chapters. I could just copy that, go to the page I want to paste it and stick that in. So I don't need to keep redrawing things over and over again. I can just simply add in those images and it speeds up the process. So if you go to chapter one, you'll see that there's the, the carrot and stick that I've used. Um, the cogs kind of come back as the, the kind of resemblance to drive and um, use that multiple times. So it just kind of speeds up the process of when you're creating those things. Uh, again, the carrot and the stick I think is used over here. Um, again, just as reference to different things. So actually I've drawn that one slightly differently. To order, uh, to, to simply add a new one in, if I just go through the process, if I tap on plus, you'll see it starts um, in traditional fashion with my template uh, having the spreadsheet in there. It, it fundamentally is a spreadsheet uh, program. All I'm gonna do then is just delete. So I end up with my blank page, double tap on where it says sheet one, and I would just type in chapter seven and move that across so it's in order across the top. And that really is it, that, that's as simple as it needs to be. Now you can imagine that if you were doing this at a conference, your titles across the top here would be the uh, session that you're in, um, and you could end up with all of your sessions all sketch noted across the top. 
titled up here with the title of the conference you attended and then post reflection time you can go back have a look at your notes um, and obviously that memory retrieval idea comes into play here where you can analyze what you've already looked at another nice thing here and i'm currently share uh, videoing this at the moment so it's difficult to show you this but if i was to zoom in i could add my own voiceover if i wanted to create this as an rsa type animation uh, for other people and actually start to move around and reveal and, and talk about things in more detail. So actually use this as a teaching tool then to support others with a bit of the flow. You get the idea of how I moved around when I created this. So, you know, what is the link between uh, the brick wall here? What am I trying to say? Uh, and what was the next step after the brick wall, etc.? So lots and lots of ways that you can use it, but numbers as a sketch noting tool Definitely now one of my top tools for my pencil case of digital use.